Sicilian defense, open, Nadorf, Adams attack. Intense that was a serious game. White really outplayed Black in that one. Black played better than White in the opening. The middle game was messy, but White got the better of it. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. The C pawn in the Sicilian defense controls the d4 square. Nf3 moves the knight toward the center in anticipation of a pawn push on d4, where it will be ready to retake the piece if black captures on d4. When black eventually plays nf6, white is prevented from moving the piece to e5 by the opening of the light squared bishop on d6. d4 offers to trade the d pawn for the c pawn, giving up a center pawn for more active pieces. Cxd4 provides black two key pawns while giving white only one. Nxd4 recaptures the pawn and activates the knight in return for having one central pawn versus black's two central pawns. Nf6 develops the knight toward the center and attacks the undefended e4 pawn. Nc3 defends the e4 pawn and starts to develop on the queen side. A6 prepares the queen side pawn advance b7 b5, and also prevents white from playing the bishop or knight to b5. H3 takes control of the g4 square and may prepare the g4 pawn push. The bishop is prepared to grow into a functional square. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. A pawn kicks the opposing knight, forcing it to move or risk being captured. This exposes an attack, threatening a pawn. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. It is quite good. This poses a threat to strike a knight. It is ideal. That's a decent move. That's good. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. This defends a piece that is being attacked but is not well defended. This offers an equal trade of pieces. It is the last book move. This ignores a better way to develop a queen off its starting square. It is a mistake. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. It is ideal. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. This threatens to win a pawn. It is best. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This overlooks an opportunity to develop a rook off its starting square. This allows the opponent to prevent castling. It is a mistake. This misses a great but hard to find move. It is incorrect. The knight is thus brought to safety. That's good. This misses a great but hard to find move. There was only one good move there. This ignores an opportunity to prevent castling. It is a mistake. This let the adversary could threaten a queen and win a tempo. It falls flat. This gains time by putting a queen in danger and getting it to flee. It is ideal. The queen is therefore moved to safety. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This can indicate that a knight was attacked. It is incorrect. This loses a pawn. This threatens to prevent castling. It is an inaccuracy. This secures a pawn. It is ideal. This reveals an attack on a rook. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This ignores an opportunity to capture a vulnerable pawn. This permits the opponent to fork pieces. It is a miss. This forks multiple pieces. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. The rook is now in a safe position. It is ideal. That pawn was available for free. It is ideal. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This takes down a weak bishop. It is ideal. The knight is now on a square that is more secure. It is quite good. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. It is quite good. A powerful play. It is quite good. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. That's good. The knight is thus brought to safety. 
That's good. It's all right. That's good. A wise decision. It is quite good. The pawn is now passed because it can no longer be opposed as it attempts to promote by other pieces. It is ideal. A passed pawn is pushed by this. That's good. This raises the possibility of an eventual checkmate. It is ideal. So, the attacked pawn is protected. It is quite good. So, a rook is won. This raises the possibility of an eventual checkmate. It is ideal. Backs off. It is quite good. This is winning stuff. This raises the possibility of an eventual checkmate. It is quite good. While not the greatest course of action, this is an intriguing alternative. It is quite good. Recaptures. It is ideal. That pawn was available for free. That's good. This misses a great but hard to find move. This allows the opponent to reveal an attack on a queen. It is an inaccuracy. This displays a queen attack. It's compelled. The rook is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. This avoids the rook's check. It's compelled. The queen is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. This reveals an attack that poses a threat to a queen. It is ideal. This is how you impress a queen. This raises the possibility of an eventual checkmate. It is quite good. Thus, a forced checkmate is possible. It is incorrect. This ultimately results in checkmate. It is ideal. This prevents a queen on the other side from checking. It's compelled. The threat of checkmate is still present. It is ideal. This prevents a queen on the other side from checking. It's compelled. And the game is over. It is best. Intense that was a serious game. White really outplayed black in that one. Black played better than white in the opening. The middle game was messy, but white got the better of it.